あとが178センチ9 4 9キロ大山シュンガー Oyama is 35-11-205 pounds 1 and 4 in pride He looks scared キロロコフ29262 pounds 62 and 2 in pride fighting championships coming off what he called even himself a perfunctory performance he said boss that he wasn't in great shape against Hiromitsu Yamanahara but uh, that fight should have been stopped yep 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 look at him uh, the stare down and look he's wearing a gi Oyama is he yep. trying to do judo yeah well he is a judo practitioner who's translated those judo skills into an aggressive fighting style not afraid whatsoever to mix it up with Mirko Krokop is Shingo Oyama whoa let's see what he got if I was Krokop I'd, get, I'd grab that gi and kick him in the head with the other leg <laughs> High left roundhouse sending a message to Oyama. That means get back. Whoa. Don't take too many of those low kicks. <laughs> That's my advice. And already Krokop looks a lot better than he did against Kanahar. Looks like he's definitely worked on his conditioning following the disastrous loss to Kevin Randleman at Total Elimination 2004. He is refocused. He has fired his trainer Mike Bensick. He says that his new trainer will shock and surprise the MMA world. And Mirko Krokop right oh, now hitting oh. with the roundhouse. That he he fired his trainer? I can't believe that. Wow. Oh, oh, nice oh. Up. Stands Oyama brings him to the floor. Over. There's a and kick and it's over. over. Boss Rutin, he's back. Well, what, what, what line would you use now? Uh, what line? Well, Give me a moment another line. If we were to say something about this fight, boss, it would be simply that God. Krokop went through Oyama like Godzilla through Nagoya. I tell you what, <laughs> Oyama need to get that big stick that the giant had. <laughs> it is. That's what he needs and to do. exactly one minute of the first round, Mirko Krokop knocks out Shungo Oyama. Mirko Krokop is definitely back on his way to becoming the number one contender in the pride heavyweight division and there he is even managing a smile boss and quentin is that his new trainer with those red and white pants on that's his new trainer i don't know it's like, it's like he swallowed a picnic table <laughs> and now it's miracle showing concern for his opponent oyama with that devastating shot Hey. Crashing to the canvas. It looks like he is going to be okay. Here we go, boss and Quentin. Yeah, the the uppercuts were definitely what it did it. Whoa, oh, oh. that left straight did it also. Now he turns away from him. Whoa. What do you do? And that then for? he comes with the uppercut. Watch this. He lands an uppercut. This one. That was the one that knocked him out, I think. Whoa, too. Yeah, that first uppercut is what uh, rearranged his DNA. Yep. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the fight and ice them us. That's all I can say. Thank you. No doubt about it, guys. He is definitely back. Mirko Krokop destroying Shingo Oyama in 60 seconds. And uh, what do you think is next for Mirko? He is scheduled to be a part of Final Conflict 2004, boss. Uh, obviously, a rematch with Kevin Randleman is in the works somewhere down the yep. way. That and again, it is going to be happening August 22nd. Uh, who do you think, Quentin? I know, I mean, he's out of the tournament now as Mirko, but, you know, there's so many possible matchups. A rematch with Antonio Noguera, definitely that, that money matchup with Fyodor Emelianenko, and of course a rematch with Randleman. What are your thoughts on what you just saw Mirko do? I want to do? see him versus... Uh... Uh, the Russian, I can't say his name. Emelianenko? Yeah, I don't know how you say stuff like that. Fyodor. Fi ah, okay, Fyodor. I want to see him fight that guy, because that fight never happened. Yeah, I think so too. I think that will be the best matchup ever, because they're both stand-up strikers, brawlers. He's got a good sprawl. Um, uh, Mirko has. So that that will be, for me, also like an, uh, a dream match come through. Yeah. All right, make sure you join us August 22nd, Final Conflict 2004 on Pay-Per-View. I'll be here.